Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Fish of Hex. My name is Travis. Well, today's video is not the one I originally had planned, but I was just walking by the 300, saw my blue Linkia starfish, and remember that you guys have been asking questions about this starfish for several years now. He's probably three, if not four years old. I'll have to find the original video and put it uh, in the uh, comment section, but he is relatively old and has lived a long time compared to many, many, many of these starfish that I've heard about within our hobby. Now, the blue Linkia starfish, I believe there's also a red or an orange version of this guy, this guy, and uh, they are known to only live a few months, if at best, in captivity. Now, I've been pretty lucky with him. Like I said, it's been a few years, if not uh, four years, and uh, he is interesting. He's actually not grown at all since I've owned him. Not at, not at all. He probably got skinnier now that I really look at him, but. Uh, he doesn't really do anything. He sits on the back glass, and I will I will say when my corals are STNing, like when I had the fish hex, hex millie up here, he was underneath the millie just chomping on it all day long. Probably contributed to actually killing it in the long run, long run just because he was constantly eating it. Um, when it comes to their diet, it just seems like they graze the glass. Uh, not, not really any algae in here for them to eat, but uh, they're up underneath the corals. Like I said, when they're starting to the STN, it's kind of dark, but you can see there's a little bit of death right here just because there's complete shading. I expect him to be in there eventually to eat that. And uh, yeah, other than that, I don't feed him. I don't, I don't target feed him. I know in the beginning I tried to put like a little stick of food underneath. All it did was piss him off and make him fall underneath the glass, fall off the glass. So you can't really feed them and uh, they just kind of scavenge the tank. You know, they are part of a cleanup crew. Now, when it comes to acclimating them, that is my bulb. I gotta turn those power heads down. They're blowing air in the, in the tanks. But when it comes to acclimating them, that's the issue that people are having. And people just grab them from the fish store and then throw them in their tank. It doesn't work like that. You have to float them for a while. It's also good to go ahead and drip them, uh, like one to two drops per second from your main display into a container of the water that they came in. And do that for a long time, at least a couple hours until they are completely converted over to your salinity and temperature and they're ready to go in the tank. Now, when it comes to taking them from the container and then into your tank, that's also an issue. You can't expose them to air. If you do that, they tend to die from it. I don't really know all the scientific reasons, but a lot of people have said that they, or at least on the forums and questions and emails that I've got, said that they have exposed them to air, and they think that is the problem, why they're dying so quickly. They take them out, even though it's only for a second or two, it's still, they're getting air. So the best thing to do is uh, get the bowl right over the water and literally just slide them in without getting any of the water into your tank. Just instant, even quicker than a second, and that seems to be, uh, you know, effective from what I've told people and how they've reacted and, and they've gone through it so and got them. But, uh, yeah, it, they're, it's a starfish. You know, I could have just been lucky. This guy is pretty uh, stable, and he's lived for a long time. I mean, who knows? It could just be pure luck. I don't really do anything. Like I said, I don't feed him. I don't do anything. Then just, you know, that's it. I hate cleaning the glass when he's on there because I feel bad when he falls to the bottom, so I try to avoid that. And, uh, yeah, they're not that difficult. So um, when it comes to purchasing them, I think they're like $20. I think that's what I got them for, Peco, 20 bucks. So they're relatively cheap. But, again, if, if your tank isn't cycled and you're just not, you know, if you're not keeping other inverts alive or you're having issues with fish or parasites or anything like that in your tank, don't buy one because you're going to have to deal with the stress of, you know, you're going to stress them out. It's just not worth it. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. I hopefully I answered all the questions that you guys have had. I don't have them in front of me. I just try to wing it at this point. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions, let me know. And if you've had one of these guys for a while, feel, feel free to uh, let me know in the comment section. All right? Peace.